Hey guys, what is up? Dota Tech here, and today I'm bringing you my gaming computer for $330. Now, I would not recommend this as a gaming computer, but if you are on a budget and you want to just play PC games and have a really basic PC, then this is something for you. Also, another note, this PC is really upgradable. As it doesn't have a graphics card, you it only has one stick of RAM, I think. And yeah, we'll get that more to that in the actual parts list. But yeah, just before we get started, subscribe and yeah, check out my channel. For our processor, we're using the AMD A4 5300. This is a dual core processor that's clocked at a 3.4 gigahertz base clock and it will boost all the way up to 3.6 gigahertz. This is on the socket FM2 platform and now people FM2 processors can go into an FM2 plus board but FM2 plus so, uh, processors can't go into an FM2 motherboard. And also this processor has one megabyte of L3 cache and it's only going to cost 58 bucks. For our motherboard, we're using the ASRock FM2 A55M HD+. This is a socket FM2 Plus motherboard. Now, if you can get an FM2 motherboard for cheaper than this, then go with that. Or if you can get an FM2 Plus motherboard cheaper than this, then go with it. But I like this board because it's M80X, which is quite small, quite a bit smaller than normal ATX size boards. Uh, it can support up to 32 gigabytes of DDDR3 RAM, and it can support this with only theoretical 16 gig DIMMs, because as of recording this video, you can't get 16 gig non-ECC DIMMs of RAM, but you can get 8 gigs, 8 gig DIMMs, so at the time of recording this, it's a max of 16 gigs, but the board's maximum is 32 gigs, so if you can get 16 gig dims then it goes to 32 gigs also it's got SATA 3 6 gigabits a second so you can have a nice fast SSD and it's only going to cost $69 for RAM we're using Geo Dragon we have 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1333 megahertz this RAM has CL9 or a cast latency of 9 which timings are 99924 and for 4 gigs, it's only going to cost 54 bucks. For storage, we're going with a Seagate Barracuda. This is a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM drive, which has 16 megs of cache, and it's got SATA, the SATA 6 inter, the SATA 6 gigabits a second interface, otherwise known as SATA 3. So it's going to be nice and fast, and it's only going to cost 62 bucks. For a case and power supply combo, we're going with the Thermaltake Versa H22. This is a mid-tower case with a 500 watt power supply already installed. This case has USB 3 and it supports up to ATX boards, so if you can find a motherboard that's ATX that costs less than the one we've got here, that has all the features you want, then grab it. But this case and power supply is going to cost 84 bucks, whereas if you wanted to go with a 500 watt power supply with a case, it's probably going to cost around 100, 120 bucks. So this is a great deal for this case power supply combo. Thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.